Mama. Aditya 11 Triple T is team wishing you all a very happy and prosperous Diwali. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we are here with the case of HP laptop whose model number is 2000. You can see the model number over here 2000. Roll out this motherboard when we connect the adapter over here. You can see the light is glowing over here after connection of the mother, uh, DC jack and we try to switch on. You can see light flows here, here, but fan does not rotate. This is the basic problem of this particular motherboard. Uh, now we are going to open the motherboard and see and find out the, where is the problem. Is. So we were trying to find the schematics. We were not able to find the schematics. Now we are going to check it with experience basis. And uh, as per my experience, this should be three and five volt coil. What we have done, we have removed this five volt coil, uh, feeling that there is some problem with the line. So you can see over here, if I am trying to check on the capacitor just after the coil, you can see over here, I am checking over here. This side I am checking. Just after the coil, you find that it's shorting, it's beeping over here. And just before the coil, we are checking. This is the before the line. The impedance is very good. The impedance is very good. So what we are going to do is, we are going to uh, make a jumper over here and try to inject the voltages uh, from the DC power supply. So we will uh, keep the DC power supply at the least uh, point and we will try to see whether it takes the ampere and we are able to find the shorting or not. Okay, so I am connecting the DC power supply with the wire over here. This is the wire, uh, we will be using it for connecting and let's see what happens. So what we have done is we have connected the DC line from here, from DC line which we have connected to the positive side of this capacitor and we are going to give the ground and see whether it takes the ampere up or not if it takes the ampere there is short, short case of shorting and we will try to find the short from that so now what I am going to do is I am going to connect the supply over here so now we are going to increase the voltage from here I am increasing it slowly slowly you can see it is taking ampere it should not take the ampere you can see it is taking an ampere that means there is some shorting so as i am increasing the voltage is taking the ampere over here so there might be some component which might be getting up heated so let's check over here this capacitor over here i'll try to show you this capacitor this is the capacitor which is getting heated over here this is the capacitor it's uh, getting hot now what we are going to do is we are going to remove this capacitor and check whether the heating goes off or not and our motherboard triggers or not we have removed that capacitor this is the capacitor over here you can see this is the capacitor which we have removed now we will try to connect again and see whether it takes the ampere or not now you can see on 1.5 volt there is 0 ampere 
so i think so the shorting of this line has gone okay this is the line which has been cleared then we can also check the voltages again and see whether we are getting the exact voltage or not you can see over here the voltage is perfectly over here so this was the clear case of this capacitor shortage now we'll try to switch on the motherboard and see whether the fan spins or not and the motherboard switches on or not now we can check on the coil right now we have connected back the coil now let's see whether it beeps or not and uh, this is how we are checking and you can see it is having a good impedance right now and the shorting has gone so what we are going to do is we are going to plug in and see whether it switches up or not and fan triggers up or not okay now we have connected uh, the screen and we will connect the adapter also you can see the light is glowing now we are going to switch it on the fan is spinning and uh, you can see the display is also coming so the display is okay now and the board is ready and uh, as we have removed the CMOS battery so you are getting this error we put the CMOS battery back and the error will be gone so this was all about today's case study thanks for watching our channel aditya 11 triple t hope you like the channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment okay thanks a lot